When I was um, in my seventh form, I received a bursary award from Mapmunganui Rugby Squash Club. And they had a sponsors day, corporate sponsors day, a golf tournament. And they asked me to attend the end of that evening so they could give me my um, bursary award. It was 500 bucks or something, a lot um, back then for me. So mum and I walked in uh, and um, one other Māori uh, in, the, in the place and mum says to dad, get us out of here. And he says, don't be rude, Karen. You know, we're here to receive Punna's award. You know, let's just do this, get it over and done with, cool. So we listed, listened to a few of their speeches and one of them was um, a joke about a golf caddy that was a robot golf caddy that they'd used for their tournament for the day and oh how did your golf caddy go the robot oh yeah it was a bit too much glare though you know it sort of you know distracted us from our play and oh we should have painted the the robot caddy black then oh no 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 we just steal everyone's golf balls bum, bum. so it's not right that's really racist okay mum and i are one of three maori in this whole place and now i have to get up with my head high and be respectful and receive this award so mum's glaring at dad and he's like, just get it over and done with. So I went up, received the award, spoke only in te reo. That was my little statement. Taku mana motu ake. And we went home. And then mum and dad, you know, mum was angry. She just wanted to rip the proverbial, proverbial you know what. And, and they empowered me. They said, look, you need to figure out a way of dealing with this. Um, so that there's a solution here, um, kei koe. So I wrote a letter to the chairperson, sent the cheque back, said how it made me feel. I think I even mentioned the words race relations in my, <laughs> in my letter. And yeah, said this is, yeah, this is not a good example of race relations in this country, something like that, oh my gosh. And yeah, they sent a letter back and they apologised for the way I felt, but not for what had happened. And so that, you know, I guess that um, continued sense of injustice, that even if uh, when something is wrong, that you hold your head high, do the right thing in the moment, um, that you then, you know, you're then courteous in your response, seeking some kind of reciprocal respect um, that it doesn't always happen that way and uh, yeah what a huge lesson that is and so then do you out of your own pain and injury keep going back you know oh I'll write him another letter then and I'll really lay it on thick and no you know there needs to be a point in our journey where um, the injury becomes inspiration and we will never forget, in my Karaua Teru Kōrere, he was concerned because I was too optimistic that I would forget, um, you know, ina kaware ware koutou, tai o ima, te hitore o ngā mātua tūpuna, te mama i pai atu ki ngā mātua tūpuna, you know, he, he take tino nui tēnā, and he would always remind us, and say, oh, you fellas are going to forget. Well, we never will, we we'll never forget. I will teach my daughter, I will teach my children what happened. Uh, but we need to balance that out with the stories of inspiration.